Hello my loves, welcome back to You Manifested That. Today we're gonna talk about the evil eye, you know the blue circle that you can see everywhere. So the evil eye symbol has been found through thousands of years of history across cultures including Latin America and parts of Asia. This symbol is like four concentric circles in the shape of an eye and it's used to ward off variations of evil. This evil eye is a curse believed to inflict pain or harm. It is bestowed from one person onto another and it's like when you are giving someone the evil eye, it means you intend for something bad to happen to this person. And this belief is really, really persistent and, and everywhere now. Like so many people speak about the evil eye. And I see so many people on Instagram and social media using this emoji. Even people wearing jewelry, nail art, um, um, whatever, you know, like so many people are using are using sorry this symbol and I would like to speak about that because this is not something that you want to call actually. One month ago I was in Greece and this is a Greek symbol okay um, it's they believe that the evil eye is when someone is jealous or envy you. So in a Greek culture actually um, there is this superstition and actually this is something that is like kind of passed from generation to generation between grandmother and granddaughters. So if someone has the evil eye, the grandmother is teaching the granddaughter how to remove the evil eye. But this is just superstition and most of the men and people don't believe in that. But still, you can see the evil eye everywhere, on bags, on a keychain, on everything, like everything, everything. And I'm going to tell you something like, this evil eye actually is something you don't want to wear, first of all. Why? Because you are already protected. You have no idea how much, how, how protected you are, actually. You are protected by your ancestors, you are protected by your family, by your spirit guides, your angels, all the people in, in your family, by whatever, you know, you are protected. And I do believe that the people who need protection are the people who did something. If you are already protected, you absolutely don't need protection from something. You see, if someone is sending you this evil eye, you know, this bad energy, like they envy, they are jealous or whatever, like energy is a boomerang. So if they send something to you, it will come back to them. And you are, you are like already like so protected that you are like, you have like a, a huge bubble of light surrounding you, so nothing can touch you, actually. Even if it's touching you, it's not staying, you know? Except if it's a hex or something heavy in witch, witchcraft or whatever, like someone hex you. But most of the time, it's not. So you don't need fucking protection. You need protection only if you did something wrong. You need protection if you, be, you behave the wrong way. You need protection if you are gossiping about people. You need protection if you are... Talking shit about people. You need protection if you are doing bad things to people in their back. You know what I mean? If you are not clear, you will need protection. But if you are fucking crystal clear with your energy, you, your behavior, with what you truly are, if you are fucking authentic, you don't need any fucking protection. You don't fucking need that. Period. And also, I want to, to show you, like to prove you that you are so protected I lived like four years in Mexico, for those who don't know. And in Mexico, I learned something like, you know, we have the beauty spot on our body. You know, the in French, we call that grain de beauté. And in Spanish, we call that lunar. So this beauty spot, you know, the black thing on your skin, like the whole uh, black, the black hole on your skin. Actually, in the Mexican culture, I mean, spiritual Mexican culture, culture, they do believe that the more beauty spot you have, the more protected you are. Like this is a kind of the, the mark of your ancestors, of the protection from your family. And the more beauty spot you have, the more protected you are. It's exactly like if you are looking up at the sky by night and you see the stars, each star 
represent someone taking care of you. This is what I like to believe. This is calling me so much. Like when you look at the sky, all the stars, all the Mickey Way, like all those things, they are like protection. And your beauty spots are exactly the same. Like you are fucking protected. So you don't need protection. And actually, if you are wearing and having the evil eye, if you are calling this type of energy, you don't need fucking protection. You are already protected. You were born protected. You are protected. But again, like, if you behave, if you did something wrong, you will need protection. So if you are already protected, you don't fucking need the, 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 eye, the protection of this evil eye. You don't, need, you don't need this eye. This eye is calling in the things you don't want. You don't want that. And um, and you need to be careful about that. This is my fucking advice. Like, um, take what you need. <laughs> and uh, also I wanted to say that last time I was doing a, an activation portal with, uh, with someone on Instagram for the 11-11. You know, it was November 11, like a portal activation because it's the angel number 11-11. And um, during these three hours, almost, uh, at portal activation, this woman, one moment, she was talking during like maybe 15 minutes about attacks, about how you can be attacked, how you can have energy attacks, how you can have vampires, how, how you can have narcissists, how you can have, you know, like negative energies attacking you, attacking, attacking, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was like that because she was just projecting, because she probably was under attack under attack for so long because she's like let's say a light walker obviously but she's um well i don't know why but she's under attack about like she's this is what she said and she project that on earth that means she shared this information during the activation and i absolutely disagree with that i didn't like what she did because it, when it's a activation of course you can let go of things but this is not it wasn't appropriate to to speak about all the narcissists and all the negative energies and how you are under attack for 15 minutes when you are calling in stuff you know what i mean it was so fucking misplaced i didn't like it and this is not something you should call when you are meditating. <laughs> Actually not. Like, I mean, if you need protection, you can you can create something special and ask someone to help you. But you don't fucking do that during a fucking activation portal for 20 minutes. Like, it was too much and I didn't like it. So, um, that's my advice. You take it or you leave it. But I know what I'm talking about because I have behaved in the past. Um... I had uh, certain behaviors, uh, the way I was speaking and everything, and I, I had my karma, so I know what I'm talking about. And now I can uh, kind of like clear completely my karma, because yes, you can clear your karma. You can completely have redemption about what you did or whatever. Your past is your past. And once you are like fucking clean, you don't need any fucking protection, because you are already protected. And except you have, if you have some karma to pay, that's the point. So all those people who are wearing like evil eye, evil eye and stuff like that, they did something. They are not clean with themselves. So that's it. Take what you need again. And um, that's it. Thank you so much for listening. Um, I'm so grateful to have you here. Like I have almost, like my podcast has been downloaded 500 times and this is so huge i am so fucking grateful i see you i see where you come from i have people from all around the world it is amazing i am so so happy and i will ask you something to leave me a review on this podcast because if you leave a review it's helping me with the algorithm and more people can see me and i can impact more people and imp and i i can be seen that's the point i need visibility so thank you so much for leaving me a positive review of course if you had like any haha moment or if i'm helping you with anything like please write me a comment uh, on the podcast episode whatever platform you are using like spotify um apple or youtube or whatever it will be it will help me a lot so thank you so much and i will see you in the next episode i love you and remember that you are protected and you are fucking loved